Now, if you hear some other words, let's say, let's say somebody's preaching like Brenda was saying a few moments ago. Somebody's preaching doctrines that are, they, they contain something, something else outside of the word. Oh, they might be talking about the Bible, but they're, 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 it's wrong. It's the wrong interpretation, the, the wrong concept. Well, don't you know that when you hear that, that faith is also coming for that? You can believe that just as easily as you can believe something else. Now, now, let me tell you this. By the, by the, in the same sentence here. If you're a child of God, if you're born again, you have the Spirit of God on the inside of you. You are a born again child of God. He will witness to you, and you'll have to be very careful in this area, and it's something that we need to be trained in, and, and it needs to be told. You will have an inner witness concerning the truth of God's Word. Now, if you're not careful at the start, at the beginning, and you, and you, you was to wind up in a place to where maybe you shouldn't be, or maybe you're hearing things that's not right, Right down in here, there'll be a witness to witness that that's not right. Amen. Now, this is the way God helps us and works. But, or otherwise, you'll just be deceived at anybody's word. Right. And, and God's not left us like that. No. He, he just has not. He said, my sheep know my voice, and the strangers, they'll not follow. They know his voice. Right. Well, so when these voices come, these words come filled with this other stuff, there's a witness right down in here, and you'll know. Now, your head might say, tell you something else. You can't go with that now because it don't know enough yet. It's not been your mind. It has to be renewed to God's Word. Now, once you get your mind renewed to God's Word, it's going to, it's going to come up to another level where you can discern some things. But right down in here, right down in your heart, God will witness to you that, hey, that's not right. But then, but then... In the same way, when you hear the real word of God, that witness will say, that's right. That's, that's right. And your head might say, no, that's not right. Your head might say, well, that, that's not what the preacher told me. It doesn't, but you know what? Right down in here where the, where the Spirit of God is trying to tell you something, he's telling you, no, that's right. Now, that's how you, that's the beginning of being led by the Spirit. Now, if you're not careful at the beginning, you'll start overriding that. Yep. Something down in here is telling you, no, that's not right, but your head says, well, that's what the preacher said, and if you're not careful, you just override that. Yep. You say, well, see, that's what he said. I, I, I'm choosing that. Yep. And so, and then if you keep on doing that, and you keep on doing that, then the first thing you know, you're learning how to just override that at every turn. That somebody comes along with a good word of God and says, you know what, this is what the word of God says. And you'll say, no, that ain't right. That stuff don't even work anymore. Now, you would have to override a lot of stuff to say that. Are you hearing? Yeah, amen, it's been done many a time. But now, in any time you open your mouth in opposition to God's word, you're overriding something in here. I guarantee you that. Amen. I guarantee you that. And now if you're a Christian, now let me tell you something, everybody's not one. Everybody preaching is not one. I guarantee you that. You might think so, but it's not so. Uh, <clears throat> Brother Hagin told a story one time, said he's, uh, he'd preached on love, preached on love quite a bit, you know. And a woman was having dinner one one night, and the woman told him, said, Brother Hagin said, you got me confused. Said, uh, you said anybody that hates their brother is a murderer, or their sister, or any, and he just happened to mention it, or your mother-in-law. <laughs> if you hate her, you're a murderer. <laughs> and she told him, she said, well, she said, Brother Hagin, I hate my mother-in-law. And she's, so in other words, she, uh, she's confused about that. And he said, well, 
he knew she didn't really hate her. You can't be a real Christian and hate your mother-in-law or anybody else. So he told her, he said, well, I want you to say it. Say, I hurt, I hate my mother-in-law. So she just said it. She said, I hate my mother-in-law. He said, now check right down in there. I said, what's going on? She said, well, something's itching, something's scratching me. He said, yeah, that's the Spirit of God telling you that you don't hate your mother-in-law. 